Hey guys, it's Denise here, NOLA Collectibles, and welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do a what sold video, and this time it is for the month of March. And so I wanted to run quickly through some of my solds for you guys on eBay. As you know, I'm a part-time reseller. I sell primarily on eBay, and my store name there is NOLA Collectibles. And so I'm gonna get right into it, and I know we're already a little bit into April, so I'm a little bit late, but I wanted all of my sales numbers to come in and everything and be totally accurate. So let's roll with it. Uh, so one of the first items here I wanted to share with you are these vintage bird earrings, and this is by a brand called Shields. These are super, super cute. You can see they're like two-tone, and these guys sold for full asking price, and so I got $28 plus shipping on these, and they actually went to someone whose last name was Bird. So I, I hope they really enjoy those. As like I said, I think they're super cute, very unique, and these I purchased at my local thrift store. I wanna say they were something like $2. Here we have a pair of Maltese gold tone cross earrings. And so these guys, I've actually had these for quite a while. They came out of a thrift store bag from like a shop Goodwill lot, I wanna say. And I've had them for the longest time ever. And my, pho my photography here kind of stinks. You can kind of see I took these a long time ago when I first started. <laughs> so they're not the best photos, but they're not terrible either. Um, and so yeah, these came out of a bag and and they were clip-on earrings, so I had them for a good while, but Maltese-style Maltese stuff tends to do really well. So whenever I have any kind of jewelry and it's in this motif of a Maltese cross, I try to get it listed as quickly as possible. And it tends to sell very quickly for me. I don't know why these guys stayed up as long as they did. I maybe needed to refresh the listing or something, or you know, maybe just to help the algorithm on eBay a little bit. But yeah, they ended up selling for, I took an offer of I think $24. So it was $24 plus the $4 shipping and they went off to their new home, finally. Here I have, this is the coolest item ever. This actually also came out of a Shop Goodwill lot. And so I had received this huge, you know, it was like a big, maybe like 15 pound lot of jewelry that I purchased on shopgoodwill.com. And one of the items that was in there was this necklace. And this necklace, I think was absolutely adorable. It appeared to be artisan made and it was sterling silver. You could see the chain there. The chain was sterling silver. The findings were sterling silver. And it had all of these really, really cool kind of iridescent pieces like of glass, just geometric, all kinds of different pieces of glass. And it was super, super, super long. It was 36 inches here. I just had doubled it up to show the effect of all of the beautiful coloration of the glass and how it looked. So it looked really nice doubled up. And so this guy, I had eventually, I had actually listed it for $85. I took an offer on it. So with the shipping, it ended up coming to $52 and 65 cents. And the person who purchased it told me they were buying it as a birthday gift. So hopefully, you know, I, I never know if sometimes I get these offers and people are like, this is a birthday gift for my best friend, or this is a birthday gift for the, my mother. I never know if people are being true or real, or they're just trying to, you know, get a good deal or a good price on something but we hope folks for the most part are honest. And so this really super cool necklace that I thought was absolutely gorgeous went off to its new home for that $52.65. Here we have, I know you guys hear me say this all of the time, I get so much vintage Ankhine jewelry and it's always this like very 80s style Ankhine, very, very, you know, indicative of the style of Ankhine of the 80s, that power kind of statement necklace, go, always in this gorgeous brush gold. And so this one was in really excellent condition. You can see here it's unique in that it has these like you know, abstract kind of swirled heart link design here. And so this I had listed for $45, but I ended up taking an offer on it and it sold for $34.15. And I've said this in the past to you guys previously, that Ankline sells well for me in foreign markets. And so this one was no exception to that it ended up going to China. Okay, so here I have, this is a really super heavy, sterling silver, Italian sterling silver necklace. I purchased this at my local thrift store. I paid $4.99 for it. It was actually on the rack of my local thrift store, which made my head explode because I was like, I saw it and it was this very heavy, high quality, beautifully made sterling silver piece from Italy. And it was, it, it's over, it was over 65 grams. And so, you know, just doing the math on what silver is currently selling for by the gram, the current price of silver today, and, and, and the craftsmanship that went into this necklace, I had it listed for $159. And so 
This, I, I don't think I had it listed for a long, long time, but I did take an offer on it and end up selling for $95 plus shipping and off that went to its new home as well. So that was a really nice flip for me uh, considering what I paid for it in the thrift store and what it sold for. This is another item that's really unique. Um, I think that this, I think this came out of a thrift store bag, my local jewelry thrift stores, and this is Crew Cuts, which is a subcategory of J Crew. I believe it's made more for like, you know, for like younger or like tweens. They were kind of competing in that tween segment. <laughs> and they had this short-lived brand called Crew Cuts. I think it was short-lived. I don't know if it's still around. You guys will correct me if it is. It might be. I'm not 100% sure, but it was really beautiful regardless. And it was 18 inches long, and it was this white metal. It had this kind of, I don't know, um, powder-coated white metal look to it. It was really fabulous looking. It had these cool elongated aurora borealis crystals and these opaque aurora borealis crystals and so I had this listed for $45 and I ended up taking an offer on it but it still ended ended up netting me $41.75 with shipping. Here we go again. This is another set of Ancline, vintage 80s Ancline. And when I say vintage 80s Ancline, you can see there it has that little hand, hang tag. The hang tag says Ancline. On the back of it is a lion's head, which is Ancline's signature. And so this was the necklace. 18 inch necklace with the matching clip on earrings. It was a set. And so I had listed this here for $52. $52. I did take an offer on it and it ended up selling for 45 plus shipping. So really not bad overall on that. Again, someone just, you know, they paid a, a good amount of money for that. So the incline went off to its new owner. Here's an item that I think I'm actually pretty proud of here. This is a, a gold tone statement medallion necklace. And this guy was unbranded, but it was very much giving me like polo Ralph Lauren vibes. So you know that very kind of statementy emblem of polo Ralph Lauren, you know, the big bold, it has that kind of rope design on the, on the circumference of the medallion. It was a multi-chain. This was just a really big, gorgeous kind of statement necklace. And I pulled this out of a thrift store jewelry bag the ones that I pay $39.99 for and I'm like this it felt like quality it just felt like a nice substantial quality necklace and so I sold this for asking price which was $44 plus shipping and that went to Florida here we have J, a JJ Jonet uh, pin JJ Jonet you know makes these pewter pins they're super whimsical. They have super fun kind of motifs for their pins. You'll see here, this is a cat kind of looking into a fishbowl and the cat's face is magnified by the glass. So cute, but uh, you know, very typical of JJ Jonette. They do a lot of cat themed brooches. You'll see ones with a cat sitting on a ledge, you know, like kicking around a, um, you know, a mouse or a cat fishing a fish out of a lake with a fishing pole. So stuff like that is very typical of JJ Jonette. And so this one sold actually for the asking price. So this was $29 for shipping. And so for about $33, this guy went out, out to his new home. Very cute on that one. Here are a pair of Stella and Dot earrings, and I believe I pulled these out of a thread up box. And these were brand new on the card, never worn Stella and Dot earrings. And they're that inside out kind of pave diamond look to them. Meaning like, you know, you can see there, they have the crystals on the inside of the hoop as well on the outside, which ends up looking very nice on your ear because you see, you know, diamonds from every angle. It's very glamorous. Uh, but if, you know, if you were to purchase these with real diamonds in them, they would set you back a good deal of money. So here's the Stella and Dot version in a silver tone. And these guys ended up selling for the full asking price, $22 plus shipping. These earrings, I just love these so much. I had gotten these from my local thrift store. These were $3.99 and they're like the most adorable, like little puffy cat dangles on these you know french wire earrings and they're they're just so cute i couldn't handle these i got this pair and another pair of earrings at the same time the other pair had puffy elephants with their trunks up and so that pair of earrings with the trunks up elephant sold and then these little puffy cat multi-dangle earrings also sold uh so i got on these i took an offer but with the shipping it ended up coming to 55 dollars and 33 cents 
here we have last time I did this what sold video I talked to you guys about like my death pile I'm trying to make a commitment to work through my death pile and this necklace here is another death pile necklace and it's like sitting on top of this box that I had like next to my photography setup and I'm like you know this I, I put it aside for a reason and I put it aside because it's a cool looking necklace and you can see here it's this huge kind of um, beautiful oversized lucite chunky like linked necklace kind of giving you a little bit of a nautical vibe but very chic like Palm Beach chic and I love the kind of like aqua almost sea glass coloration of the necklace and so I, like I said I put it aside because I thought it was special and so I finally got around I'm like let me list this and I did a little research because I didn't know who had made this necklace but I put it aside because it looked great it looked like a, it was just quality looking necklace and so I, I tend to do this when I'm at the stage of photography and or listing I will I now have my clean photos where my necklace is on a clean background I'll pop the image into Google image and do a reverse search and sometimes that will give me I always find if your image is really clean you'll get the best results from your Google image search when you have the item on a clean background otherwise you'll get some crazy ass stuff excuse my language but this is the truth <laughs> You will get some really crazy stuff. Um, so I did that as my last step and it popped up and it showed me that this was a necklace actually by Anthropology. It was called the Anthropology Zen Z Looped Lucite Chunky Sea Green Linked Necklace. Those exact terms. And so for $45 plus shipping, it ended up coming to just under $50. That guy went off to its new home. It's a fabulous necklace. Here I have a multi-order and so this order came in and it ended up being eight items in total. And you can see here, it's a variety of items. We have Sarah Coventry. There was a pair of vintage cufflinks. We had some Joan Rivers earrings that were the interchangeable kind where you can pop in different colored stones to give yourself a new look. I had a Christian Dior chain. It was only a vintage Christian Dior chain. It was just a chain. It had no pendant on it. I also had a Trafari Plique Jour stained glass partridge or peacock brooch here, which is also a really beautiful item. The Plique Jour items from Trafari are becoming increasingly in demand. So if you come across any of these Plique Jour, which is, you know, kind of looks like that stained glass effect, those items that are made by Trafari, definitely worth listing because the prices on these are going up substantially and very quickly. They're becoming very collectible. And then I had, you know, here there was a Roman soldier, kind of Trojan style wraparound cufflinks vintage. So eight items in total, it came out to about $300 and the entirety of this ended up going to China as well. So another Chinese buyer likely buying for the purpose of resale. And these are some of the brands that I think consistently sell to overseas buyers. They like the Joan Rivers. They love Trafari. And so, yeah, Christian Dior always goes overseas. Whenever I have a vintage Christian Dior item, always ends up going overseas. So yeah, guys, that was a great order. Like I said, eight items for about $300. Here I have an item, and this is a, a QT Quok, which is Quok Trading, and this is a Southwestern jewelry wholesaler that manufactures a number of Southern style, Southwestern style sterling silver jewelry. And so this one here, I purchased at my local thrift store. I want to say maybe it was a $6.99 or $7.99. And it just had a really pretty lapis lazuli and mother of pearl. And I had this listed for $74.99. Ended up taking an offer. And with shipping, it came to $62.49. This is an item that came out of my local thrift store bag. This is the ones that I paid $39.99 for, and it, it popped out. It was just a really great looking gold tone brooch, and it had that Egyptian revival feel to it. It also had really pretty kind of natural stone scarab details on it. You can see there it had three. There was one on top as well. And as soon as this, I saw this, um, the bag it came out of, it was a bit of a dog of a bag. There wasn't a whole lot in there, but I saw this and I'm like, this is a nice looking item. It's unbranded. So there was no kind of like just, oh, it, I lie. It was signed W. I forget what brand that was. It was signed W. Um, but because it was Egyptian revival, I, I tossed that bad boy up onto eBay immediately and I got full asking price on this item. So it sold in like two or three days, which was really great. And so I, I don't think, I feel like I maybe located one or two of these as past sold on Worth Point, but they had sold for less money. So I, I just priced it a little bit higher and it ended up going pretty quickly. So that was great sale. 
This was an item I also pulled out of a thread up box, I believe. And this was just a really great looking silver tone Chico's necklace. I know some of my viewers, Karen, I'm looking at you. I know you told me you had this necklace. It's a great looking necklace. It's very versatile, silver tone with beautiful rhinestone detail. And it's, it was a little bit longer, like 36 inches. So just a great little like layering piece and a great everyday item. You know, if you want to add a little bit of bling into your wardrobe. And so uh, this guy, I listed it. I ended up taking, did I take an offer for this? No, this sold for full asking price for $26, which was the shipping and the tax that went off to its new owner. This was another item that I pulled out of a thread up box. This was a pair of artisan made Herkimer diamond drop dangle earrings on a sterling silver. And these are really, really beautiful. And the, the Herkimer diamonds on here, I think is what really makes it unique. And they had come out of the thread up box. They had all of the information on them, including the carat weight and I just listed it exactly as it was, included all the carat weight information and whatnot. And that one sold pretty quickly. And that one ended up, I took an offer on it, but with the shipping and the tax, it ended up coming to about $56.89. So that was a really nice perch, uh, sale for me. Here we have a pair of Joan Rivers clip-on earrings. And so gotta love her, Joan Rivers. She was, she went too soon, too soon, Joan, the queen of comedy. If you haven't seen some of the documentaries, there are some fabulous documentaries about Joan. And I mean, really this woman, <laughs> she, that was, she was cut from one of a kind cloth, no one like her. And, and I, I actually had, I actually met Joan Rivers. I met her in New York uh, during fashion week and she was like walking around the tents cause she was on E at the time. And I saw her and I was totally fangirled out and went over and said, hello to her and she was like nothing but super wonderful and pleasant so I have a soft spot in my heart for Joan Rivers anyway so and these were gorgeous earrings she made beautiful high quality jewelry she took a lot of her cues from Czechoslovakian styles European styles a lot of the componentry of like Czech glass and, and rhinestones and and jewelry making from the European masters like she was no fool and she's you know she sold on QVC on the home shopping networks um, but anyway this is a gorgeous pair of earrings you can see here it's got the topaz and almost like a black diamond look to it. I had these listed. I purchased these as a local estate sale. I want to say maybe they were four dollars, five dollars, something like that. I think they were in a bag with a few pairs of earrings. And anyway, I took an offer on these and they sold for twenty-four dollars and twenty-five cents. Here we have another Stella and Dot necklace. I know you guys think I must sound like a broken record, but I come across these Stella and Dot pieces of jewelry, and I'm sure you all do too, you know, because it's pretty. It's a pretty prolific brand. And this is a necklace called the Del Delilah Medallion Dangle Necklace. And this was just a brushed gold, beautiful modernist kind of statement-y piece of jewelry on the longer side. And this one I had listed for 38, but I took an offer. And so this went to its new home for $25 and 79 cents. Here I have a pair, another pair of, these were unbranded, uh, vintage 80s, statementy, gorgeous. I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous earrings. Look at the faux kind of amethyst cabochons that they have on there. And I had these listed for, for quite a long time and I don't know why they took so long to sell. I know they're, you know, they're clip on earrings, but these, these just exuded quality to me when I picked them up and they're large, they're oversized. You know me, I'm like Alexis or Crystal Carrington. I, Carrington, I think this is a, a crystal. I'm going to go with a crystal on this one. <laughs> Um, just because they're purple. Um, but yeah, these ended up selling. I took an offer, but it was a very fair offer. And so with shipping, they ended up selling for $32 and 25 cents. Oh, a non-jewelry item. I actually sold quite a bit of non-jewelry items this month. And so for me, you know, I do, <laughs> you know me, I love to go to the thrift store. And so if I see something that's interesting at the thrift store that catches my eye that I know has a good resale value, I will pick it up. And so this was one of those items. I think I, I paid $4 for this. And you can see here, it's just this really cool kind of Native American inspired village cut out in a, in a vase. And this, the village reminded me of Taos in New Mexico. Very much looks like Taos. And so I listed this guy 
And so it ended up selling for a full asking price and it ended up going to its new owner and it went right back to New Mexico. So it's so funny because sometimes I, I list these Southwestern style or, you know, turquoise pieces. They always end up going back to New Mexico. I think they're going back to the motherland. Here I had found this in my local thrift store jewelry bag, the bags that I get for $39.99. I was so excited to, to find this in my bag. This is actually the first piece of James Avery jewelry I have ever encountered in all of my like reselling and you know Louisiana we're right here we're next to Texas you think I would encounter a whole lot more James Avery stuff but I don't um so when I did find this I was really really excited and uh, it sold in two weeks James Avery it sells very very quickly and I took a, an offer on this it was a very fair offer and it ended up selling for $118.10 so and it was in beautiful condition it's just you know this horseshoe necklace luck for good luck horseshoe up all of the bountiful plentiful things can fill into your horseshoe or whatever I don't know some people believe it should go downwards for good luck upwards I don't know but um yeah I know it was a good sale <laughs> okay so from Texas we're going back to Louisiana here I have a you know I of course encounter so much New Orleans themed jewelry in my local thrift stores in my thrift store bags that I purchase and one reoccurring theme that I see over and over again is the New Orleans water meter uh, this is the iconic kind of symbol of New Orleans that you will see on sidewalks it is the sewage and water board and, and they have this kind of you know just plaque that they put over the water meters and you see them all over the city they became so iconic that people were actually stealing these things off of the water meter so you'd be like walking down the street and you might fall into a hole in the sidewalk because someone decided to steal the plaque anyway so they make these earrings a lot of local brands make these just because they're cute and they're you know they're very New Orleans and I had a few pairs of these um, this one was a really nice heavy paid uh, heavy heavy pair of earrings very well made and so this one I had listed for $42 and they ended up selling for $38 plus shipping. Okay, here is a very large statementy Brighton necklace. And this I also pulled out of a local thrift store jewelry bag. And it was in excellent condition. And this item was actually a retired piece of jewelry from Brighton. And some of the retired pieces are way more collectible. People who are very into Brighton that are seeking out those rare and hard to find items. And you could tell that this was an older piece because it just... It felt heavy. It felt so much more substantial than what you encounter with regular Brighton jewelry. Had gorgeous detail on the back. It was on this really pretty kind of like rope or like wheat wheat chain. And so I had that listed for $55. I did take an offer on it and it ended up selling for $44.15. Another non-jewelry item. So this little fellow, look how distinguished he is. He's so adorable. I found this at my local thrift store. He was $4.99, and uh, I recognized the brand. The brand was Maitland Smith, and Maitland Smith made a lot of these kind of like, you know, those like bronze monkey lamps or the bronze monkey like butler figures or stuff like that. Um, it reminds me of the style of the Bombay Company. If you remember the Bombay Company, it was like a mall brand store and they prided themselves on uh, having all these import this imported style furniture and home good items that look like they were from India, or from Thailand, or from China. You know, it was like the internationally focused furniture company and uh, furniture and home goods company and so you know they obviously went out of business and this was actually a brand that they did carry at that store so this guy they since they did make those brass figures and the bronze figures and that was more of what they did this guy was was porcelain so it was he was a little bit more rare and it's so funny because we I had this dude he looks opaque and then when the I had him actually on one of my shelves because I thought he was great looking. When the light entered into the room, all of this like highlights on him just lit up. It was so bizarre. My husband was like, he looks like he's going to come alive and give us a key. You know, <laughs> like Indiana Jones style. Like it was so strange, but very cool. And obviously someone else thought he was cool too. So he ended up selling for $60 plus shipping. 
And so this item, I'm, I'm including it because I think that this is a really cool item. This is a brand called Mr. Wee. And Mr. Wee, there's not a whole lot that's known about this brand. Some people think it's connected with Joy Manufacturers, the brand, the vintage jewelry brand Joy. Um, some people think it's affiliated with Le Bernard. So no one really knows, which is so bizarre to me that no one knows where this brand came from. But it is a mid-century modern brand. And this guy true story about this necklace. I think it's just a cool necklace. Obviously, you've got these fish stations on it. It's got crystal eyes. Just visually, it's an interesting necklace. I had it in my pocket because I was going to list it. So I put it in my robe pocket and then I hung my robe on the back of the door and then my husband took it upon himself to do all the laundry. <laughs> So this guy went through my laundry and I was so like, you know, I, I, I hear the laundry and I, you know, you hear the clanking and I'm like, what is that? I go and I get him and he led, and he didn't know the necklace was in the pocket. So it went through the laundry, but you know what? It came out looking fantastic. It was so clean, you guys. And it still maintained all the patina on there as well. So it was like this it looked fabulous. So I, I wasn't mad about it at all. And so I listed this guy. And the person reached out to me and said that they were a collector of the Mr. Wee brand and that they were also a Pisces. So I'm a Pisces. I couldn't resist. Again, I don't know if this was true or not. But anyway, it ended up going for $34.19. $34.19 to its new home, someone who collects Mr. Wee. So that made me happy. This here is a brooch by Carolyn Pollock. And so Carolyn Pollock, she is someone who sells her designs on QVC and it is usually sterling silver and um, Southwestern style and it incorporates natural stones. And so it's very popular. I've sold quite a good bit of Carolyn Pollock jewelry. And some people think, oh, well, like it's on QVC or it's on HSN, who cares? Who cares? That means it's a name brand. That means that people are looking for it, actively looking for it is as keywords um, associated with the jewelry that they're seeking. So like maybe they missed it as the Today's Daily Special and they won <laughs> a year ago and they still are in love with that style. So they go on eBay and look for it. So, and it is good quality jewelry. So here we have this sterling silver kind of and turquoise um, little kind of bar link bar, brooch, pin, whatever you want to call it. I had it listed for $49.99, ended up selling for $42.31. This is an interesting um, sale right here. This is Acme Studio, and this is their Blueprint Architectural Engineering cufflinks. And so these were, uh, the thing with Acme Studio is it's one of those companies that sells, what should I call it, um, design objects. So, you know, they will have a designer come in and do a capsule collection or do one or two pieces and then they will turn around they'll sell those items in their store so it could be a vase it could be like a cap you know a jonathan adler vase or this it could be by a renowned architect like a frank gary um so the this is an you know renowned engineering architect constantine boym and so this is a collection that he did with Acme Studio. And you can see here, I mean, I'm not an engineer, but apparently this is something to do with engineering. <laughs> All I know is that, you know, they were great looking cufflinks. They were in great condition. They were signed and they were Acme Studio. So I took an offer on these, but they did end up selling for $36.30. And I'm going to finish right here because I've talked way too much, you guys. And this is a lot of items. Uh, but this item here I purchased at my local thrift store. I want to say maybe it was like $6 or $7. And I was actually checking out at the counter and I spotted this, like in this little like hanging display that they had. And I said, hey, that looks gorgeous. And um, I turned it around and it had Benamon signature on the back. So Benamon, an Israeli designer, New York City based, that makes beautiful statement jewelry. And this one was definitely fit into that category. Again, with the brush gold, kind of gives you Byzantine kind of vibes to it. I had it listed for 145. I ended up taking an offer and it sold for $125. So yeah, you guys, this is just kind of a little bit of a sampling of some of the items I sold for the month of March. Uh, you know, I like to chat with you guys and talk about like some themes that I see as emerging. And for me, uh, March was actually my best sales month to date. 
And so it, it was my prior to that, my best sales month was November. So right before the holidays, when people were purchasing gifts or looking to buy items for themselves, plus gifts, uh, that's typically my best month. This superseded that. So I don't know if it had to do with people receiving their stimulus checks or what it might have been, but it was a really, really excellent sales month for me. And so what I see, again, I, you know, I've said this previously, Stella and Dot continues to sell for me. Some of all these name brand items plus the unbranded kind of 80s statementy items. So 80s is still kind of very much in demand in a big way. Statement, brushed gold, the Anne Klein, the Joan Rivers, all of those items very doing very, very well for me. The Egyptian Revival, always big sellers. People are always actively looking for those key search terms, Egyptian Revival. So whenever I have an item that fits into that category, I try to get that up as quickly as possible. Southwestern, the turquoise, the quok trading, the um, Carolyn Pollock items, Native American inspired items, those also continue to sell really well for me. So yeah, you guys, that's it. Um, just a little smattering, a little sampling of some of the items. Um, I appreciate you tuning in as per usual. If you like this type of content, listen, give me a like. On the way out, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell. You, you know my YouTube spiel. You know everyone's YouTube spiel. But I appreciate you guys, and I will see you at the next one. Bye.